Coach, given how well um, some of you guys played in this one, particularly D'Angelo and Spencer, how much does it sting that it got away? Shame. But, you know, we, heck of a basketball game. I thought our guys competed. They, uh, you know, led for, you know, most of the game. And, and uh, you know, it's one of those you think you deserve to win it, and, and they pull it out at the end. But, uh, listen, credit, you know, credit to them. They hit some tough shots. Obviously, Butler's shot at the end was... Heck of a shot. We had our best defender on him. Um, and, uh, you know, so be it. After a big first half, what contributed to them chipping away and getting back in it? Yeah, no, I thought our defense, you know, they, they started to get hot. I thought our defense would, you know, slacked off. I uh, thought we were much better defensively in the first half. They got loose. Their shooters got loose. Obviously, you know, Embiid, you know, um, Listen, we lose the free throw battle again. You know, I, I think it seems like every game it's, you know, 13, you know, 13 free throw differential, 20 free throw differential, and, and that's, that's not a complaint about the referee. That's, that's on us. We have to, we have to learn how to, uh, you know, be active and play physical, uh, but without fouling. So, we, you know, we lost a free throw battle. I thought that was big. Coach, you talked about defense. The pace seemed to tick up a little bit in the third quarter, but you guys won the quarter by one. Was it more just a sense of them making shots versus the yeah. defense wasn't so good? Some, yeah, sometimes, sometimes that's how it goes. I thought they, they, they hit some tough shots, and, uh, you know, credit to them. Obviously, you know, Butler was hot, and J.J. hit a, hit a couple of tough shots, and then and, and I thought Landry Shamet, uh, that, was, that was key. His, his uh, little spark there, uh, you know, really, really uh, uh, gave them a boost. Uh, you, you still had a 13-point lead in the fourth quarter, and then they go on that 16-2 run. Uh, was there any offensive problem there that kind of got you guys out of sync there? Because I, I think you were one for seven during that stretch. So yeah, no, we had a we had a uh, uh, you know kind of a, a lull there, and and that that's where that's where they got their separation. I have to go back and and see what type of shots we're getting right off the you know top of my head. I thought we got a, a bunch of good shots in that in that run, but um, you know I could be mistaken, Greg. Kenny D'Angelo with 38, 8 and 8 tonight, but ever since Karis Salon went down, he seemed to become a lot more of a playmaker for you guys uh, in particular. Has anything? From your vantage point, have you seen anything change since then that's allowed him to kind of take this somewhat next step? No, it's it's more, you know, he's uh, his usage has, has gone up. Obviously, with Karis House, he's got the ball in his hands a lot more. And, and uh, listen, I'm proud of him. Like, I, you know, I thought he struggled the last, last couple of games, and, and uh, he really came back and, and uh, you know, was a reason, a big reason why we're, we're, we're ahead most of the game. And he had a fantastic game. Um, you know, just, uh, you know, like I said, I thought Spencer backed him up, too, uh, with, with a good game. But, um, you know, tough loss, tough loss for the Nets. I thought we, we uh, um, you know, played a pretty good game and, and uh, couldn't pull it out at the end. If, if you do look at, at Spencer and D'Lo together, I mean, this is the best game they've ever had together. You had them out there together in the fourth period. Uh, what strides do you see them making as a pair, you know, in their roles and leading this team? Well, yeah, Greg, it's a good point. It's a playing, and then I, I, I love the communication. I mean, they're, they're talking amongst each other at the end of the game. What are we going to run? What are we going to do? And there just seems like a, 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 um, a real good chemistry going. And, and uh, you know, I thought Karras and, and, and D'Angelo had that, had that going, and, and uh, it's nice, uh, nice to see Spencer and him. They're really, uh, uh, the communication has been, has been excellent and it's really helped us. Uh, obviously, a lot of it was Spencer and D'Lo, but 57% shooting, you know, best night of the season. What did you see just the way you guys clicked offensively throughout most of the night? Yeah, listen, we've been a, you know, knock on wood, we've been a, been a pretty good offensive team, um, you know, the whole, the whole season, you know, so far, you know, and, and, you know, top 10 in offensive efficiency. You know, my concern right now is our defense a little bit, and, and uh, you know, I, 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 again, I thought that second half we, we struggled defensively. I think our offense, you know, you're going to have dry spells, you know, like, like we had in the third quarter, but uh, our offense has, has, has been pr pretty good so far. Kenny, just curious what went into the thought process to put Ronde in the starting lineup? <laughs> oh, yeah, just, uh, just a feel. Feel and and a little bit the matchups a little bit you know getting some uh, um, you know him and him and Simmons matched up I thought that was important but it, it was it was more of feel and and uh, I, th I thought he I thought he played really well Ooh, yeah we'll see we'll see I think I don't think anything's set in, set in stone but uh, you know good early returns on that on that starting lineup.